Hello, it is uh, Bald Nate again. It being me. And uh, here's a totally different game. It happens to have a ninja as well, I guess. Was Strider a ninja? Let's not think of these questions, but uh, th th this is Ninja Spirit for the TurboGrafx-16 slash PC Engine. This is a port of the arcade game Ninja Spirit. Um, it's it's a high quality port. Uh, we're going to be playing the slightly easier console variant of it, which is the default. They call it PC Engine mode. Um, you know. Also, uh, but before I start, I will warn. This is yet another game that if you are photosensitive, you you might not you, you might want to look away during most of most of the game, but especially at the very end. But w without out of the way, um, I'll count myself down to start. Five, four, three, two. One, go. So uh, we're a ninja, and the game starts with us dying. Uh, and then a wolf comes up and howls. So the question is, I believe that the wolf is the spirit of vengeance that reanimates our ninja corpse, and then we get to take uh, take revenge. Anyhow, um, here we are in the first level. Uh, you, you have four different weapons available at any moment. Uh, ninja sword... Ninja sh Shuriken, Ninja Kusaragama, and Ninja Explosives. And we're going to use the Ninja Explosives almost the entire time. Uh, for each Ninja Weapon, you can get a Ninja Weapon power-up, indicated by the little graphic icon turning turning red in the background. And you can also get Ninja Clones. I will note, this game came out before Ninja Gaiden 2, so the concept of a trailing Ninja Clone. You may be seeing the game that pioneered that concept. So we're going, and there's all these, uh, like, cannon fodder ninjas. They're jumping at me. They're missing, because I'm on the magic pixel. There's also a monk with a staff. Um, despite having some hit points in this game, which are sort of dodgily implemented, um, there's a lot of enemies that can kill you with a single hit anyway. So, so here I call these the fireworks ninjas, because they get shot out of these little chimneys. Uh, we immediately destroy them. And here we are at the first boss. Oh, it's a very impressive statue demon coming out of the ground. Oh, we're going to throw bombs at it. And it explodes and uh, recedes back into the ground. And that was the first stage. Woo. So we're immediately in a forest. Uh, one minor piece of speed tech. Important not to walk off ledges in this. It's always faster to do a little bunny hop off of the ledges. Because when you walk off a ledge, you fall with the slowest possible horizontal speed. But when you jump immediately from uh, walking, you have faster horizontal jump speed. You do have limited air control in this game, but it, it, it has a sense of inertia. So we got the fire shield. A warning, fire shield is not actually a shield. It's just literally fire around you. It only does damage. It doesn't prevent damage. But we just do that so we can save some jumps. Because if you don't need to jump, then you should be walking. Because walking is faster than jumping. Unless there is a very good reason to jump. And here we are at the end of the forest. We're going to fight the axe demon. Please wait for the axe demon to show up. Gonna throw bombs at the axe demon. Eh, the axe demon's gone. We jump off the screen not to prevent lag, we do it for pure swag. So here we are in the swamp fields. Uh, riflemen now show up. They take pot shots at us. There's the first of the Davidos, aka the giant bloated uh, samurai corpses. The community decided that they were called DeVitos. Got two orange power-up ninjas chasing us. We've got the cannon fodder ninjas all, all mere millimeters away from uh, scratching my back with their swords. We're going to switch to the sword. A rarity in this run. This is all just to prevent lag. They're dealing with the swamp. So I'm jumping here because walking through the swamp is very slow. I have the sword out so I can... Uh, brush away all the spirit wolves and ninjas that get close to me while I'm doing all my jumping. 
And here we are at the end. Switch back to the grenades. I don't want those power-ups. And who is it? It's Hanzo! A very large ninja. And we, uh, we blow him up with grenades. They're staged down. So here we are in the temple complex. Uh, here we get to find, we see a first, only here, Kusarigama ninja enemies. We also have attic ninjas. Uh, the attic ninjas are bad because they were created to cause lag. It's terrible. So we're going to try to sweep them away while also not getting hit with Kusarigamas because they are one-hit kills. Thankfully, the grenades make relatively quick work of all these things. Now we are in the spike basement. Did you know? We can stick to the ceiling. So we're proceeding in here. I could damage boost a little bit here. The reason I pause to place, a, place my bombs on the ceiling or to kill the attic ninjas, because again, the attic ninjas caught the lag. Now we're going to be crushed. And smoke bomb ninjas. Be devil us as we try to escape this cunning, cunning trap. But the threat of crushing is not over. Here's the, the ninja's natural foe. Uh, magical rocks. Oh no, dear. We got, we, got, we got the unlucky pattern, but that's okay. We didn't get killed. And we have, dest we have destroyed the ninja crushing enchanted stones. So now, uh, this is the level where you should not go right or left. You should go up. If you go left or right, the, the game will just keep on wrapping you around and you'll feel like a huge dingus. But we're not going to do that. We're going to climb. There's a, there's a pretty good optimized route through this. Uh, the challenge, though, is that you want to cut every one of your jumps just barely close enough to land on the next ledge. By the way, there's the uh, the Nine Winds Ninja Clan, a.k.a. the Kite Ninjas. Uh, we blew them up before they even made it over the ridge. That's okay. They try, they try hard. So here we are in what we call the run-killing level. Because this running killing level basically has all sorts of stuff being thrown at you all at once. It's very easy to either kill by one hit enemies, like those Mr. Ryuichis. Um, also, there's Kunai from the skies. They will do damage and wear you down. Cannon fodder ninjas. Now we have kite ninjas that will also throw Kunai. We have bow staff monks with their one-hit kill stabs, staves. So we're trying to manage lag, we're trying to not get killed, we're trying to not take too much damage all at once. So in my head, I've sort of got a timer of when's, when's the last time I've seen a monk spawn, when's the last time I've seen a Mr. Ryuichi spawn. Mid-air, do I need to be throwing bombs backward to sweep away the kite ninjas? But anyhow, here's a parade of DeVitos. Um, for tax reasons, if I just sit right here, they cannot actually hit me with their swords. So we just uh, stand here and uh, pepper them with bombs. You don't even have to attack the Davidos. They will simply time out at the end. Um, but that is just a few seconds slower than actually blowing them up. So that's what we're going to do. And this is the time in which I get to actually read chat. DeVito's is the canonical name. Thank you, Dog Belter. And there we go. Headed into the last level. The last level is a three-parter. We start in the Fart Cave. Fart Daily will appreciate this. Uh, the, the, far the farts are coded, uh, coded uh, hastily. They can do anywhere from zero to all of your damage at once. Um, the timing of the farts is random, but the position of the farts is known. So here's the Ninja Pit of Death. All of these ninjas have one-hit kill swords. You just memorize it! You just memorize how it works and you just don't get hit. And that's what you do. Now we're gonna fall 
And at the bottom of the pit is the final boss. And there will be lots of flashing after it. I will say time just as soon as the final boss did. There's the final boss, looks pretty scary, and it's dead. That's time. Deathless? You know any ninja spirit run at an event that's deathless is... And wait for it, what? Our revenant ninja reanimated corpse is... turning into the wolf. Awoo! Vengeance complete. Thanks for the GG's, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Now you, now you get the Hot Jams PC Engine mode ending. It has a cool PC Engine exclusive song, and you get to see all the bosses come out. Fun fact, for some of these bosses, you see them longer in the credits than you see them while I'm doing the speedrun. Right. Rocks! This game tears dares to tell the truth about ninja crushing rocks. Anyhow, as the credits are playing out, I'd like to thank the Theoretical Phantom Event sponsors for letting me uh, contribute these two runs. And, you know, the, the, the purpose of this event is you know, not just to have fun, but try to try to gather a little money to help Dave out. So if you type exclamation point donate, donate, not, not do Nate, it's a donate, uh, you'll get information on that. But coming up next will be as a race of Super Ghouls and Ghosts for the Super Famicom by Super Rata and Super Stands. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Super. So stay tuned.